Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 6. I don't want to sink somebody. I'm in the business of putting people into homes, not taking homes away. Rents are due and several people are struggling to come up with the money after losing income because of the coronavirus pandemic. Groups are calling on North Dakota's governor to do more for tenants. One landlord tells Valley News Team's Joshua Pagaro he's done all he can and he's concerned he won't be able to pay his bills. Ty Trubenbach says he's managed this downtown Fargo apartment building for the last decade. I don't know if I'll leave it open my swimming pool this year. In October, he bought out his partner. There's a mentality about how landlords are, have all this money, and I'm, I'm no different than a small cafe owner. The building has 60 studio apartments. Tree Binbox says at least 10 tenants told him they need help with rent payments. Make sure if you lose your job, come talk to me. Let's set up payment arrangements. Let's, we can get through this together. He says he's already waived late fees. I waive late fees until this is over. Uh, for sure in April, um, possibly May. He says one of the side effects of helping tenants during these tough economic times is that he also has bills to pay and he's not even sure he can get an extension on his. I have an electric bill, I have a mortgage payment, I have insurance. Trebenbach says he's against any government order that would halt evictions. North Dakota Supreme Court already suspended all eviction hearings as nearly 20,000 people file for unemployment benefits. Our hope is that those unemployment benefits spring to life as fast as possible because every day a person is out of work is a day that something isn't paid for, uh, a need isn't met. The American Civil Liberties Union of North Dakota is asking for Governor Doug Burgum to stop all COVID-19 related evictions and require landlords to waive late fees. Desperate times call for desperate measures and we are hoping that the governor is working as fast as he can. Governor Brigham has yet to make such a move. In Fargo, Joshua Pagaro, Valley News Live. Along with the ACLU, several groups say Governor Burgum should halt evictions for at least 90 days after the pandemic is over so people can get back on their feet. North Dakota has 17 new positive cases of the coronavirus today. It's the second highest single day total of positive cases and brings the total number of cases in the state to 126. Eight of the new cases come from Cass County. And as of this afternoon, a male between the age of 10 and 19 in Grand Forks County has tested positive and the case has been attributed to community spread. Governor Doug Burgum today announced the activation of what he calls a workforce coordination center in North Dakota. The governor says it will involve several state agencies working together to serve emergency workforce needs in support of health care providers, industries and agencies affected by COVID-19. The governor called upon North Dakota residents who may be able to help to consider getting involved in jobs that might be on a paid or volunteer basis. And some of these jobs will be paid. Uh, some of them are volunteer jobs, but whether you're just someone who wants to say, hey, I want to help out and help my neighbors, how can I do that? And can I do that you know, working from home or can I do that volunteering uh, with the right kind of PPE if it gets to crunch time? Uh, we're, we're looking for both volunteers and paid staff. To get started, contact the Job Service North Dakota Workforce Center at 701-328-0400 or go to jobsnd.com backslash COVID-19. Minnesota is now reporting 629 positive cases of COVID-19 in the state with 12 deaths. Currently, 56 patients are hospitalized with 26 of those patients in the ICU. Nearly 20,000 people have been tested. Locally, Clay County has six positive cases, Beltramity, Beltrami County with four. To see the updated case count in Minnesota, visit our website at valleynewslive.com. Our storm team continues to keep a close eye on Thursday. Expected conditions have prompted a first alert weather day. Today, conditions have been decent with the exception of that pesky stiff wind. Hutch is here with your Tuesday night weather planner. Hutch? Ah, thanks, Mike. Yes, indeed. Thursday is indeed a first alert weather day, and it is going to be a very tough pill to swallow as we go through the day. We're going to have a, a changing conditions. Here are a couple of things that you can expect. First and foremost, 5 to 10 inches for many of our western counties of snow, the wet, heavy variety. We're going to have some wind with it, and it will have some reduced visibility and possibly tricky travel, obviously, in some 
other areas will get rain, freezing rain and sleet causing slippery conditions should end by Friday morning and it gets started late Wednesday night with some showers of rain. By the time we get to the morning hours, look at this. A smorgasbord of precipitation across the valley that will continue to move through. Fargo may not see the change over to flakes of snow until late in the day on Thursday. More on that in a minute. Before tonight, can you take a look at this? Showers and thunderstorms rumbling through western parts of North Dakota. New Salem Sioux all the way up through center getting ready to see some rumbles of thunder. For us, we're going to be fairly quiet. Clouds increase. It will be breezy and mic temperatures slipping through the 40s. Our westernmost counties may have a chance at hearing some of those rumbles of thunder by about the 10 to 11 o'clock hour tonight. Our by hour details on Thursday's smorgasbord of precipitation is coming up here in just a few minutes. All right, thanks. We have new information for you tonight on a massive fire near Gardner, North Dakota. Three people who were at that home when it started made it out all safely. Crews were called around 3 o'clock this afternoon for a house and barn that were engulfed in flames. Multiple tanker trucks were used to knock down the fire. The family is working with the Red Cross to find a temporary place to stay. We're told that the cause of that fire is still under investigation. A man is behind bars tonight after police say he murdered a man in Perm, Minnesota, late last night. 40-year-old Derek Sweary has yet to be formally charged, but is currently in the Otter Tail County Jail on a second-degree murder charge. It's such a good town, a great place, great school. Everyone here is great, and then to hear something like this crazy happen is just really concerning. The shooting death took place at the 600 block of First Avenue South in Perm. Police say the victim's name and more information will be released later this week. The pandemic has caused many schools, sports and events to be canceled and it's left children at home searching for something to do. Families in the Valley say that they're embracing the change with fun and educational activities to pastime. Parents have been teaching their kids how to write checks, balance checkbooks, and some are learning about paleontology online. Just trying to stay active and do lots of activities. We've done a lot of painting, a lot of coloring. We did the whole virtual bike ride thing. Um, we've been outside a lot. Another thing that you can do is spend some time online with our chief meteorologist, Huss Johnson, twice a week. He's teaching weather classes on Facebook Tuesdays and Thursdays. To learn more about that, visit our Valley News Live app. American Crystal Sugar reported a weekend break-in at the corporate offices in Moorhead. Take a look at the damage. A deer jumped through one of the mirrored glass windows into the office. These pictures were posted on the company's Facebook page, saying the deer made quite a mess, leaving behind a little hair before making a hasty exit. Speaking of animals, a mountain lion was killed today in West Fargo city limits. The animal was spotted around 9.30 this morning in a tree line near Rendezvous Park near next to Aurora Elementary. Game and Fish was notified, determined that the mountain lion did not appear to be healthy and did not appear to be fearful of human interaction. Authorities agree that their action was in the best interest of public safety. There are several Minnesota companies looking for some extra help during this pandemic. Up next on Valley News Live at 6, where you could find a job. Cloudy skies as we head through our Tuesday. Here is a time lapse we captured of a low hanging cloud working its way across Moorhead skyline. Precipitation falling from that cloud evaporating before it hit the ground. That's called Virga. We have a weather alert day on Thursday. We'll have the very latest next. You're watching Valley News Live on TV, online, and on the go. Always on, wherever you are, whenever you need to know. Valley News Live. You're watching Valley News Live on KVLY, your hometown NBC station. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy wants you to stay healthy and safe. With three FM locations offering medication delivery, mail-out, drive through and curbside pickup, your health is our top priority. Call us today. The Medicine Shop, caring beyond prescriptions. No one goes all in on made-from-scratch freshness like Papa Murphy's. Because when you go all in, people notice. Go all in with a new triple pep for just $9. Papa Murphy's. Change the way you pizza. This fast-forward future isn't leaving you behind. You're ready to own your time and make it work for your future. 
at Rasmussen College, our career-focused